Today, I'm letting AI control my entire day as a software engineer. Which we are not. Well, let's see how it goes. 6 a.m. Morning gym session at Planet Fitness. You might ask what are we training? Back. Should be just waking up now. Not this. Bye. Uh, five past seven right now. Exercise done. We'll chat. What's next, buddy? What's next? 7:30 a.m. Coffee and planning at Vovo Tello. So it's 7:40 a.m. and I'm looking at the restaurant that Chet suggested, and it's actually a bit far for my liking because there'll be traffic and it's still in the morning. So we have to settle for one nearby. And let me just search and we'll see. And we're gonna go have our coffee and plan for the day. Let's take this first. So since it's a planning session today, I don't really have a stand-up meeting. So what I'm doing is filling up my timesheet and actually planning on the items that I wanted to get done. So I have two new projects in my hands since the person that I'm working with is on leave. So what I'm going to do is I take over those tasks and I can make sure that I finish them today so I can move on to the next project tomorrow. But looking at this, uh, it's mostly going to be uh, me working on tests or local and then I'll go back to my project as well today. So that's what I'm thinking and I'm done filling up my time sheets and yeah, that's that's it for now. I think uh, we're gonna have a productive day ahead. Eight thirty AM morning coding session at home office. If you're new to the channel, let me give you a warm welcome myself. My name is Kosnati Sibia. I'm a software developer. I specialize both in the front end and the back end, which we typically call a full stack. And I make videos about today in my life as a software engineer. Anything that revolves around the software engineer, the tech trends, my setup sometimes, really anything in the tech space. And if you are a nerd yourself, might consider subscribing and liking this video. It's half past 10 and Chad said I should uh, stretch and tell you why it's important to uh, leave your desk for a while. So I've been working since uh, 9 and yeah, it's been 1 hour 30 minutes. The way that I actually stretch is by going to the gym. I don't really stretch, stretch like this. Right now I'm just going to take a walk outside. There's something I need to take care of. And yeah, I think it's very important for someone to who's actually uh, always on the PC have something maybe jog in the morning or try to have something like that you do with your body because you're always 
sat down, your that's not good for your back, and all of that. I'm not a certified uh, medic or anything, but yeah, I go to the gym, I do some cardio very once in a while. <laughs> but yeah, I train, I work out, and I do walk most of the time. So yeah, I'm active and I also, yeah, I do take walks from time to time and also take some time off the chair and yeah, just take some time off the chair, man. And stand up, that's why I need a stand up desk. If I had that stand up desk right now, I'll just be raising this thing and continue working while I'm standing. But let me just go downstairs and fix something. It's almost 11 and I was told at 11 to do code reviews at Irene, of which I actually cannot. I can't really go to Irene Farm because my car is being fixed outside and not really being fixed, it's being serviced, changing some brake pads and yeah, I can't really go up until that is done so I'll just carry on working here and we'll go for lunch at the suggested place there, yeah. It is 12.40 right now and I'm supposed to go for lunch at half past 12 as Chet suggested but the police he keeps on suggesting he or she I mean uh, <laughs> to not get cancelled by an AI so keeps on suggesting places that are really far and said half past 12 to 1 to half past 12 to half past 1 which now means I have one hour to get to the place has means I also have to order to take time and I have to drive back to home for a creative cooling session at half past one which I don't see really happening so two things might happen I might order in or let me just continue working and then I have my lunch around half past two or three that's when I go out and go to a restaurant that is not that far and I can have something to eat while I reflect on the progress but so far not looking good definitely not looking good because now these pipeline issues are really delaying my work as I did plan that I wanted to close off this part of the project today but it seems like I've upgraded but when I send it to test after I'm making my changes the pipeline seems to not be deploying changes so I'm actually going through the scripts it was deploying earlier it was complaining about um, about size on the server so let me see what's the problem and yeah after that um, see if i have lunch here or i go out or yeah let's see man because i'm still thinking 12 40 pm improvising and being productive Development subtypes can be a headache. So after an hour of trying to find out what the issue is, um, last update was that it did deploy. Turns out now the solution was down, the entire test site was down and I didn't really understand what was happening. Turns out the back end was deploying but not releasing. So it will build the deployment and build the entire image, the Docker image, so that it can be released to wherever, but it didn't really release. So I had to go into the pipeline since they are separated between the front and the back. Front end was fine. I had to clone the solution again, retest on my local, make sure everything is fine, which it was. I had tested before, but just making sure. Clone the DB from test, maybe I thought could be a DB issue. Still was not the issue and then I went to the pipelines and then I saw that uh, deploying, it's building, it's fine but the back end, the last release was from 30 September meaning I there's something wrong with the pipelines, I actually have to tell the infrastructure team to actually fix that issue that it auto triggers the release because it did not create a release, it just built the deployment, the image and everything and then it did not release. So yeah, take some paying attention to detail and also yeah, a lot of work man because yeah, who would have thought that the release not doing anything because I just saw API failings, the entire site just crashing, the release was fine, like when check pipelines building everything is fine. So. We'll have to get into the detail. So yeah, that's what's up. Uh, okay, not to bore you too much. I'm gonna check how much damage has this upgrade done, and then we're gonna go out to each. I'm starving. It's almost two, and I've been with this issue. To PM, lunch and creative coding session at restaurants.
I think the one thing that Chad forgot to mention is the budget. We are not rich. We are not. We've reached the end of the vlog and it was a successful one. Actually, I was getting a bit stressed because like a lot of the work was not being done before lunch and all of that, but I've actually caught up and I'm gonna continue working for some time later on. But for now, we've reached the end of the vlog. I'm tired of shooting. And yeah, let me know if you want me to do the cloud one because this was done by ChatGPT and Cloud is gonna do the rest and if you want me to shoot the other one leave it in the comments because damn it's exhausting I don't wanna shoot it honestly